on one perfect photo suite 8 masking module right now we have a photo open in layers and we're gonna open that photo and and send it to the masking module so we go up here and we'll switch to the masking module Okay, now that we have the photo open in the masking module, we are going to take out the blue sky that has no clouds in it. And the way you do that is you are going to use the keep and drop color eyedroppers. First, we're going to select the colors that we don't want which would be this blue sky. We're just going to pick a couple of random places in it. And you can see over here that it added them to the drop color set window. And then we're going to go to the keep section of the color set. And we're just going to pick a few random places on the bird in the photo and the tree in the photo which we want to keep and that'll give us a good set of colors and we'll have a good starting place. Now we have our keep colors in the color set over here. Then we are going to go to the drop brush tool. This will take the colors from the drop color set and remove them from the image. And we just wipe it across the sky here and you'll notice that the blue will disappear Okay, now you notice that we still have some blue left around the bird and the tree's edges. We're going to want to use the magic brush. That's located right here, the magic brush tool. We'll click on that, and we'll just take that and wipe that over the areas where we still see the blue. And that will start to remove the blue, but it will leave behind all the colors in the keep color set. Now we have the background removed that we don't want. Um, all the blue has been removed and we will now send the photo back to the layers module for replacement of the background. Okay, we're back in the layers module, and we're going to go to the on one extras here, and there's a folder called backgrounds. Open that, and there's one that has skies, and they have a whole default library in here of skies. You can also add your own, but we'll go in here and we'll choose a sky to drop in behind this bird. So we'll just pick this one. We'll double click on it. And we're going to add this as a layer. Say OK. Now we have the sky, but we notice that, uh, you know, our image underneath isn't showing through. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the image that we sent over. We're going to go up to layer. We're going to say 
duplicate layer. We're going to take the copy and move it up in the stack. Now you can see the sky is behind the bird. The bird layer is on top of it. So we need to adjust the sky to fill the background of that photo. So we will go to the sky layer and over here in the tools palette we will select the transform tool. You can see that the points have been activated and you can grab any one of the corners. Uh, you, when you see this indicator you can rotate. So we're just gonna we're gonna pull this up put a nice sky in behind a bird. We can see down here we need to pull a little bit more down behind the image. And then we're gonna hit enter. Okay, so our transform has been applied and that's it. We have a new background behind our bird with some clouds in it. Now that we have the image with the background replaced, we're going to take it and we're going to do some final touches here and we're going to go over to the tools palette and select the crop tool. Now we're going to crop the image to however we would like it to be. Um, and it gives you the guidelines. So we're going to crop it right in there, get the focus really on tight on that bird. And nice crop. Hit enter. And our photo is cropped. Then if we would like, we can send it over to the effects module. Then we'll add a couple effects. My favorites are dynamic contrast. We'll add natural. It'll bring out some of the detail. You're going to want to turn it down a little bit. We'll set it to about 30. Then we're going to add sharpening. So we clicked on the plus button, add an empty layer. We'll go up here and we'll go down to sharpening. We'll select the fixed focus. We'll turn that down to about 30 as well. And then we'll say apply. Now that's going to send it back over to the layers module. And that's it. All you have to do now is save it and name it. And that's how you replace a background, uh, put a new background in, crop the photo, add some effects to it, and that's basically the flow of what you can do in the On One Perfect Photo Suite 8.